Hi, I'm Darren and this is Orn and Ananda. Tonight we're in Hua Hin at the Tamarind Market. We were here the other night, had a great night, ate some yummy food. So we're gonna show you this market and show you the Chikada Market straight after, which is right next door. Let's go find some food. So this is Tamarind Market. It's got live music. Lots of places to sit and eat, and lots of yummy food choices. Little tarts and things look rather tasty. Patongo. Hello. Sorry, Kam. Sorry, Kam. Oh, big patango. All right, Cap? Australia, Cap? Australia. Chim mai, Cap? Chim mai, okay. Chim? Chim ni? Taste? Taste? All right. Try that. Feels very fluffy. Okay. Mm. From Kanom Shop. From this shop. Sisi Pap. For how many? Two pieces for Sisi Pad. Mmm, Aroi. Very yummy patango. A little bit sweet, very light and spongy. Yum. And lots of sauces there. Hapunka. Thank you. Very cool little market. Like I said, a lots of food here. We've got ribs. Wow, kiwi NBC. Yes, chai cup NBC. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Seafood salad. Blood clams, salted crabs, blue crabs, prawns, squid, sawadee cup. Yummy, yummy. Aroi mak mak. That does look good. Any aroi cup? Yum puma. Salad with raw blue crab. Yes. Also, they got mango salad with shrimp, mixed seafood. Mango salad with salted crab. Hapunka. Right next door to the rib shop. More seafood there. Sweaty carb. Well, that looks rather good. This one's a dish that's become very popular in Thailand lately. Pork bone soup. That looks good. As well as the food, there's quite a bit of shopping here. Sorts of souvenirs and things, some clothes. Mm, lots of fruit drinks. Chunky bits of fruit in that one. Swadika. Tried the longan juice the other night, it was very tasty. Right, let's find something to eat. Ooh, what do we got there? Ice stick cocktail. Ice stick cocktail, wow. I just show one. You show me one? Oh, thank you. This one is rainbow. Rainbow, wow. What alcohol in there? This one is no alcoholic. No alcoholic, okay. Oh, wow, thank you. They look very cool. Menu there. Hapun Kaap. Thank you. Might come back for one of those. Got seafood Tom Yum. Mm. Spring rolls. Baked mussels with cheese. 
They look pretty good. Squid row. Grilled pork. Lots of choices here. Yummy looking smoothies. Yes, that does look good. Ah, let's say for One stick, 20 baht. Okay, we get two sticks. Mm. Tried this chicken here the other night as well. This was very good. Ready, Cub? She's heating them there. What else has she got? Sour pork. Any nam? Namu. Fermented pork. Nam's also grilled there. Right. What's with those? At Todman Bla Yang. Mmm. Delicious. Fish cakes. But normally they're fried. These ones are grilled instead. Mm. Sweet, fishy, lots of vegetables in there. Delicious. Let's see what else we can find. This market is quite touristy. It's also apparently quite popular with the locals. It's a mix of Western tourists and also Thai tourists from Bangkok. Worth checking out if you're in Hua Hin on the weekend live entertainment, lots of food and some shopping as well. So stuff on sticks there, being grilled. All right, we are back for this one. Pork bone soup, Leng Sa. What size have you ordered? Just say L, but I think I eat alone. He's got the pot of pork bones there. And then he weighs them up. Okay, they smell very tasty. And then the soup. That also smells delicious. Go into the pot. And onto the stove. Lime juice going in there. And pounds the chilies. Should be doing drums for the song. delicious. Looks pretty good too. Our links are... Let's come with a plastic glove. Looks pretty spicy there. Yeah, smells spicy, smells good. Let's try the soup. Mm, spicy, a little sour. A little sweet. A little sweet, yeah. It's quite good. Lots of vegetables in there, some carrot, some potato maybe, green onions, kaffir lime, and lots of chili. Tastes good. So I guess the glove is to eat the bones, yeah? Let's try these bones out. It's a big bit of backbone by the look. We've got a little plate there we can put it on. Let's break some of that off. Came apart nice and easy. Mmm, very soft. Juicy, lots of assorted bones in there. Mm. Yeah, that is really good. Spicy and tender. Yum. Beef sticks. 
They look good. We did try these the other night when we were here as well. Satays. We had the port ones and they were very good. Panam Gin, which is a Thai noodle dish. Different curry sauces. Oh, Stepodman Blah. Yes. More fish cakes there. Fried chicken wings. They look good. Shop's got Ananda's interest. Heaps of toys here. Phone cases. Thai sausages and pork sticks. Fresh oysters. I'm oh, sorry, oyster omelettes. Oh. Ice cream made to order. That's a durian. This one only in Hua Hin, this variety. More ribs over here. That are pretty good. Ready, Cap? Cap? Pork ribs. Ooh, a big set, 450 baht. Small set, 250. Mashed potato in the set as well. Mm. They smell divine. Yum. Okay. Okay. This was another one I tried the other night. Hello. Didn't have Gene Simmons cooking it though when I was here. But I tried the crispy jumbo squid. It's pretty good. Oh, Farika. What else have they got? Crispy fish snack. Deep fried salmon balls. Ready, Cap? All in pineapples. Yum. This was another one I tried the other night. This guy's fried pork was very tasty, as you can see from the lineup. I also tried these cheesy gyrozas. Give them a 10 out of 10 too. Another one we tried was these cheese lava balls. Can also recommend those ones. Mmm, smells good. Well, I've been away filming, and Nanda and Orn grabbed some of these chicken wings, which look pretty good at the shop. How are they? Good? Yes, crispy. Crispy. Crispy? Let's try one of those out. They do look good. Mm, yum. It's very crispy. Well, the food at Tamarind Market has all been great. Check this place out if you're looking for something to do in Hui Hin on the weekend. Let's go and check out next door, the Chikara Market. That's the entrance and exit to Tamarind Market. And Chikara Market is just down there. This is the back entrance. There's also a front entrance on the road. It's a very funky market. Lots of recycled products used here. The octopus here is all made out of recycled products. 
as are the jellyfish and the coral over there is all recycled bottles. The shops are mainly made of bamboo and grass it seems. It's kind of a boutique market, lots of original products, people who are designing their own clothes and stuff and another big food section. Got a great feel to it, this market. Again, there's live entertainment. Right in the middle of this market, there's a big food court with lots of tables and chairs to eat at and heaps of vendors selling all sorts of Thai and Western food. Pork ribs, look tasty. Mm. Clams smell delicious. 145 baht per plate. How do I, mate? How do I? Very good. Kung o bun sen. Kap. Gong look good. Tom Yum. Yaki Soba. Ahan Yipun. Also Japanese food. Takoyaki. Lamuk Yak. Just at the back of the food area, there's a big shopping area with four or five rows of shops. And another big live entertainment area with a bar down the back. Rubber band guns. Shop's quite famous in Thailand, they've been on TV. It's also a big area with lots of pieces of art for sale. This is one of our favorite styles of Thai food, northern food. Our Nam Yao cup. Khao soy guy. Yeah. How hungry are you? Very hungry? Medium. Medium? Okay, we got a khao soy and a nam yao, you think? Yeah, our khao soy do a ka. So at this market you have to buy a coupon for the food. This is one dish you've got to try in Thailand. I describe it as Thailand's equivalent to spaghetti bolognese. So she topped it there with coriander and green onion and some fried garlic. <laughs> 
Thank you. Mm, looks good. The next one, this is my favorite dish in the whole wide world. Khao soy Chiang Mai noodles. She's cooking the noodles back there. Boiling water. And there are egg noodle. A piece of chicken going in. And the khao soy sauce, which is kind of mild curry sauce. And that one was topped with some fried noodles. Again, coriander and green onion and garlic. And then they've got a platter of vegetables that you can top it with. One's got some cabbage, bean shoots. And a top mine with some bean shoots, some sliced shallots, some pickled vegetables, and also a squeeze of lime. Looks good. There's a great range of food at this market. These two dishes you don't see very often. I think there's only two or three restaurants in Hua Hin that sell these ones. First thing we're gonna do is mix them up. Smells really good. I think we'll start with orns, yeah? As I said before, this is an amazing dish, one you've got to try in Thailand if you come here. Mmm, yum. Tomato-y, little bit sweet, bit salty, nice pork flavor, bit spicy. Does remind me a lot of spaghetti bolognese. This is a great dish, kind of gin nam niao, with rice noodles, yeah. Would you like to try my khao soy? No. I don't think you've ever had this, have you? No? It's the best dish in the world, according to me. Mmm. Got some of those crunchy noodles that she put on top there. Delicious. Try the sauce out. Again, a bit sweet. Not as spicy as orns. It's a bit coconutty. Got a nice curry flavor. This one is delicious. It's a favourite among foreigners who visit Thailand. Another one you've got to try. There is a great range of food at this market. It's probably a little bit more expensive than the tamarind market, but there's not much overlap. There are some dishes here that aren't next door and vice versa. So worth checking them both out. The food here is cooked to order. Yeah, it is. It's, it's more cooked to order here. A bit more gourmet. A bit more sort of Western influence and, and more fusion food here. That's a delicious night of eating at the Tamarind and Chikara markets. Check them out if you come to Hua Hin. Definitely worth a look. All the details are in the description below the video. Check out my channel for lots more Thailand food and travel videos. I post new videos every Wednesday. See you next week. Bye.